I am hitting the trails this weekend. It's January, which means here in Virginia, it is cold, but I still want to go light. So I'm gonna share with you my sub 15 pound loadout for a 15 degree backpacking trip. Let's get into it. What's up, Dirt Junkies? My name is Jeff, and thank you for stopping by Dose of Dirt. I'm stoked to share my winter loadout with you that is going to be less than 15 pounds. I do like the sound of a 15 pound loadout for a 15 degree trip. And unfortunately, in the metric system and Celsius, it's just not the same. A six kilogram loadout for a negative 10 degree trip just doesn't quite have the same ring to it. So let me show you the 15 pound for 15 degree loadout. First up is my brand new tent. And it is really only because of the weight savings on this tent that I can achieve a base weight that's so low for a winter backpacking trip. This is the Z-Pax Triplex. I'm stoked to take it on its first trip. I really want to get this thing out in the wild. The Z-Pax Triplex definitely sent me back a little bit, but I have some budget options for stakes and poles. First up are my Cascade Mountain Tech trekking poles. These are actually a Christmas gift. Thank you to my father-in-law. I am loving these. They are going to see a lot of use. And the stakes I purchased are the Wise Owl Outfitter aluminum stakes. I should mention that although it's going to be cold, there isn't snow expected. If there was going to be a lot of snow, I would probably not be taking the Z-Pax Triplex because I'm not sure how well that's gonna hold up to snow. So that's the shelter, let's talk about sleep system. As far as sleeping bag, I will be taking my zero degree Thermodown from Pariah Outdoors. This is my favorite cold winter sleeping bag. I actually just did a video comparing this to another zero degree bag that I have and this thing is awesome. For my pad, I'll be taking the Pariah Outdoors Recharge XL. This has an R value of 4.7, which should be good for the temperatures we're getting down to. I'm a fairly warm sleeper. I may be taking a Thermarest Z-Lite foldable pad for some added R value, but we'll keep an eye on the forecast and I'll let you know how it goes. I should mention that I'll put links to all of this gear below. Feel free to use those links as you build out your own 15 degree loadout. For pillows, I am taking two. This is the Gear Doctors Inflatable. I'm also going to take my Teton Sports Camp Pillow. So two pillows for comfort's sake, but still under 15 pounds. Next, let's talk about the kitchen and water. I will be taking my new Tox Titanium 750 milliliter pot. I am super excited to try this out. It is a lot lighter than the aluminum one that I was using, a little smaller, but it still fits everything I need inside of it just fine. In here, I have my budget backpacking stove, the BRS. It is awesome. A big lighter. And this isobutane canister fits in here perfectly. And of course my Tox Titanium long handled spoon. I love this spoon. For water, I'll be relying on the Sawyer Squeeze. This thing works fantastic when coupled with two smart water bottles. Just so I don't forget, I'm gonna mention right now that I am planning to sleep with this in my sleeping bag so it does not freeze overnight because it is going to get cold. And while I'm not gonna show you the food I'm taking because some of it's still coming from Amazon, I'll be putting all of it in this super cool food bag from Hilltop Packs. Life is better with some dirt in it. Heck yeah. Also taking my DIY first aid kit and poop kit, of course. I've done two videos on how you can make a much better backpacking and hiking first aid kit on your own rather than just purchasing one from Amazon. And it's actually a lot cheaper. I'll put links to those videos up here in the corner, but I love this first aid kit. It's only about half a pound and it has everything in it that I'll need for short trips into the backcountry. I should also mention my trusty Gerber dime knife. It's not a lot of extra weight and I don't use it that often, but I have it if I need it. I won't show you all the electronics I'll be taking since I'll be taking my tripod, GoPro, things like that, so I can hopefully make a video out of the trip. But other than that, I will be taking a Thermodrop so I can record the temperature. I really love this thing for seeing what the temperature is outside. And then I may take a second one so I can see how my sleeping bag performs in those really cold temperatures. My Phoenix headlamp, this thing is super bright, ridiculously bright actually, has a rechargeable and removable battery. I really like this headlamp and definitely taking my Garmin InReach Mini so that I can make sure that I'm in communication with my loved ones at home and can make sure that they know that I'm okay. I did a video on why I chose the Garmin InReach Mini rather than some other satellite communicators out there, but this thing has been awesome. Zero regrets about my purchase decision on the InReach Mini. If you're going solo in the backcountry, this can give you as well as your loved ones at home a lot of peace of mind to make sure that you're safe. I also have to mention that I am taking this super cool electronics bag. I know it seems like I'm plugging Hilltop packs, but before anybody accuses me of getting this for free, I actually paid for this because I think that it is so cool. It's a dual packet electronics bag. So this is what I take on all my backpacking trips so I can make sure my electronics stay safe and dry. Super cool bag. 
And one other electronic thing that I'll show you because I think it's a great tip for saving some weight and also just making your trip more simple. I recently got this really short charge cord that actually has all three of the charging cables that I'll need in one cord. It's got an Apple cord, a USB-C, and a micro USB. So if you feel like you're taking a ton of charge cords on your trip and it's just a mess, grab one of these. I think I got a two pack for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Pretty sweet. Since it's a winter trip, I do need to mention that I will be taking my micro spikes with me. They're heavy and there's not snow in the forecast, but I'm not sure what I'll be encountering as I get higher up in elevation. So I'm definitely taking the micro spikes just to make sure that I can handle whatever I encounter. And last but certainly not least is a brand new pack and I am super excited about it. Another reason why I don't want to wait to go on this trip, even if it's cold, because I really want to get this pack out there and try it out. It is a Z-Pax Arc Haul and I am super stoked about it. That green is just awesome. It is super light, should fit all of this gear, no problem, including a few extra items I might take if the temperatures get low. I'll tell you about those in a second. I am really excited about this pack. So that is the gear that I will be taking for this overnighter where it should get at least down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 10 Celsius, but probably even a little bit colder than that. The two additional items I may be taking if the temperatures get even colder are a Thermarest Z-Lite foam pad, as well as my Thermadown 15 degree quilt. If it's going to be really cold, I'm going to take that quilt so I can put that right over the top of my sleeping bag, and then I will be toasty warm down to really low temperatures. I don't think I'll need it. The Thermadown sleeping bag is rated down to zero degrees Fahrenheit or negative 17 Celsius, but I may take it just as a precaution. I don't want to turn into a Jeff sickle out there. Tell me what you guys think of this loadout. Is there something I'm not taking that's going to make me completely miserable? I think it's going to work great. Nice and light to make the hike in easy, but sufficient to keep me warm enough down to the temperatures I'll be encountering, which should be pretty cold. If you haven't tried winter backpacking yet, I would definitely recommend trying to get into it. I absolutely love it. Remember, life is better with some dirt in it. It's January here in Virginia. It's January everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. I should say that. What am I talking about? Let's talk about gear. Okay, thanks. Bye. Somebody gave me kudos on Strava. Thanks, Jessica. Shut up, Jeff. Because I really want to get this pick out. Pick. Maybe even down to... That sounds weird.